truly understand our youth and the challenges they face? Are we truly listening to what they're saying or even care about how they feel? Youth Come Alive is a new and innovative program where we discuss issues that matter, such as spirituality, sexuality, relationships, addictions, careers, and so much more. Join us on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. on all our streaming platforms. Youth Come Alive, a, a program, program for youth. Are you on a health journey for the new year? Have you been looking for nutritious and delicious health food substitutes and cannot find it anywhere in town? Well, we've got good news for you. Raquel Imports proudly presents a new soya pack line of products which includes soy-based milk options and meat substitute, 100% caffeine-free corn coffee. What? Yes, you heard that right. 100% caffeine-free corn coffee and much more. This can't get better than this. These products are now available for immediate purchase at Rackles Imports, located at 3A Street, Kings Park, Belize City, and coming soon to a store near you. Direct message our Facebook page or call us at 611-0601 for more details. Soya Pack, a, pack, a healthier, healthier option for you. Good morning to one and all. We want to thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Defining Your Health. I am your host, Chantel Neal. And this morning, I have my husband here with me on set, Mr. Shane Neal. Thank you so much for joining us. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's been a while we've had you, you know. <laughs> I've been hiding out. <laughs> yeah, so he's off on holiday, so I'm like, you know, you got to come on. You got to come on. We, another, we have another very interesting topic for you, as promised. Um, we, uh, last month we did um, women's self-care tips and mm -hmm. I told you that we were going to do men's self-care tips. So that's the topic for today. Self-care tips for men. Um, this is not to discourage those of our females who are watching because you, you have a brother, you might have a husband, you might have a son. You know, and it's information that you can share as well. We want to invite mm -hmm. you at this time to share the link to this program. We are live here um at our studios in ladyville and so we want for you to engage in the comment section share us share with us your thoughts share with us um maybe some tips of your own that we could all learn all right and as we're getting into this discussion for this morning um mr shane here is he's a teacher and he's a student mm -hmm. and so before we get into the topic itself we want to get to um, find out a little, bit, a little bit more about Mr. Shane and um, his profession and what it's like being a student. Um, so tell us, <laughs> Mr. Shane, let's do a check-in first. How are you today? I'm doing great. Um, can't complain. I'm on vacation. Make the most out of it. <laughs> so he says he's on vacation. Um, tell us, as a teacher, what is it like? Um, definitely challenging. You know, um, you have to deal with different students who have um, different personalities, which means um, the way you deal with one student, you have to change up how you deal with another student. And um, so that makes it a bit challenging. And not only that, but you have to deal with the whole aspect of um, government and everything and encompasses the teaching and everything. So it is a challenge to a certain extent. And how many students do you have? 16. 
16. All right, I remember when I used to be a 16, teacher, uh, I think I used to double that, that amount, mm -hmm. you know, but times have changed and I think they're scaling back the classrooms even better. How do you juggle being a teacher? Um, you know, you're in between lesson plans and coming to school and you're mm -hmm. in between 16 different children for the day. Mm -hmm. How do you manage? Um, one of the things you got to make sure that uh, once you have your, what, you, what you're going to teach, know exactly what you're going to teach, that part is out of the way. Um, not, there's not much challenge when it comes with the students because the students are always, they're always there awaiting the teacher to go to the, to the classroom. But once you know exactly what you're going to teach, that when you go to the classroom, you're not confused, you're not undecided, you know exactly, hey, I'm going to teach this, and I'm going to prepare for this, and let it flow. Because students know exactly when you're prepared from when you're not prepared. And so um, just make sure that you're prepared to teach um, what you have set out to teach and try to get the lesson across as smooth as possible. Sounds to me that you have to be very, very organized when it comes to being a teacher. No, you're also a student, as I yes. mentioned. That's another level. That's another thing. You're also a student, a theology <laughs> student. Share with us a little bit about your student life. Um, definitely challenging. At times, it can get frustrating. Um, reason, you know, sometimes you have to be maintaining your, as what they would say to us um, at school, that you have always remember you're a full-time student. So regardless if you're working or not, they keep telling you you're a full-time student. So they're trying to say, um, yes, we understand that you're making money. You, you have to work. You have to provide for your family. Mm -hmm. But don't forget that you're a full-time student. You have to give your studies the same attention you're giving the, your, 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 your job. Mm -hmm. And um, so I find it, um, it's fun at times, when you're, especially when you're, once you're doing a, a class that is fun, uh, like Greek and Hebrew, that is very challenging. Um, it can be a little boring at times if you're doing classes where you feel as though, especially for me, writing papers, I'm not a good, I'm not strong when it comes to writing. So once I have to do a lot of writing, that class gets boring for me. But um, I find some challenges where you have to be uh, making time for your studies, whereby for me, I work good at night time, so I would stay up late just to try to get that work done because if I leave it for in the morning, definitely I will oversleep. Mm. So I try to make sure that at least by 12, I try to go to bed. That means I want to accomplish what I need to accomplish for my studies. Mm. What's unique about um, uh, Mr. Shane's schedule is that his, uh, his, his schooling is, it runs simultaneously yes. with his teaching mm -hmm. so he's in he's teaching and he's in class as well mm -hmm. which is quite challenging <laughs> I, am, I don't I'm sure I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to you know keep up with that um, so the next question is how do you balance both um, um, without cheating the students and without you know faltering in your studies what I would do I would when I'm teaching my students I would have my my phone on and then I would also have the volume up mm. that I could hear. So I would teach them, but my students, they are aware. They are, they are, they are aware. So they basically blank out what, what is happening on my phone. So you're what class again? Standard four. Standard four. Okay, they're more mature. Yes. So I, I, I inform them of what you know, I'm studying as well. And so if you guys hear some noise, you know, it's my lecturer or my teacher is there in Jamaica. So they know exactly what I'm studying. And so I would raise the volume so I could hear what I'm teaching them. And once after I finish, finish giving them instructions and teach them the methods, whatever I'm teaching, you know, give them notes, whatever, um, and I set work for them to do, that's when I engage with my class there in Jamaica where I would um, answer questions, I would, you know, um, I would just engage with the school there in Jamaica. So for those who may not know, his classes are online. And he is doing a degree in theology. So mm -hmm. you're eventually phasing out, phasing of, the out of teaching, teaching profession yes. and going to, into the pastoral, yes. pastoral field. So please keep him in your prayer. Um, as we transition now, I'm happy that we could have learned a little bit about you, uh, Mr. Shane. Because sometimes we have people come, coming on set and we don't really know much about what they do. Mm -hmm. you know? But um, here we're learning that 
You have several hats that you wear, and yes. several things that you're juggling. And I'm also I'm also the chaplain there at James Garber oh, Primary okay. School. Okay, yeah. So apart from so apart from studying, apart from teaching, my job is to nurture the students there at James Garber in terms of baptism and those who are baptized. So you know, remind them of service. Also, try to engage them, encourage them as well. So. My hands are very, very full. <laughs> the general spirituality of the school. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is a big question that I want for our viewers as well to put your thoughts in the comments. Do you think that men generally take care of their health in mm -hmm. terms of self-care? Do you think it's something men generally do? Um... Here in Belize, I, I, I've seen a couple of men who, who, who would do it, but not many really go the distance in terms of um, really take time and, 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 and just say, hey, I'm going to make sure that I look nice when I go out. I'm going to just, you know, put in that extra work. Uh, they feel as, as long as I have on a shirt and a pants and, you know, something on my foot, I, I'm good and they just step out the door, um, which means that they don't really take time to look in the mirror and say, this is how I look, this is, you know, I don't want to look like this. I remember a couple of years ago, I used to wear um, some of my clothes that I used to wear back then. I'm looking, the, I would go back and look at the pictures and, and I would say to myself, no, I don't know what was wrong with me because I was, I was definitely not taking care of myself back then because of the way that I, I would dress. So I believe that here in Belize, um, there are a lot of men who, who don't really take the initiative to really invest or take the time to say, hey, I'm going to make sure that I look nice when I leave the house. That's not much that I'm seeing here in Belize. You're alluding to the physical appearance, but again, I'd like to add that the self-care that we're referring to this morning is a holistic, yes. holistic view. Mm -hmm. um, yes, outside, the outside appearance is very key, but we got to make sure that we're caring for ourselves mentally yeah. or spiritual health or physical health, you know, all of it. Mm -hmm the other that connects, you know, and um, as you're speaking on that, I want to ask why though, why do you think? Um, they, there are some who feel as though, especially for, well, single men, I would want to say that single men um, that might be have looking for potentials would take a little bit more time than men who are already married. Mm. I find that men who are married feel as though, hey, I, I already find what I'm, I was looking for, I have my wife. And there's no need for me to put in more work or doing more investing in my, in my appearance or, you know, or, 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 so they do less, but men who are looking for, for, um, for potential partners, mm -hmm. they would do more investment in terms of the way they dress, in terms of the way, you know, the holistic aspect. But I believe that regardless if you're married or not, there should, they, you, you, there must be an investment in your, in your dressing. So uh, for me, I believe that men who are single do more investing than men who are why not? Well, that's a very unique um, comparison. Um, but I'd like to say that self-care is, is generally for you, the person. Yes. It's generally for you, the person. You know, when, you're no, when you know you're in a good state of mind, it's for you. Mm -hmm. You're the one who benefits. I'm the one that benefits because I know that I've, I, have, have every, I have everything set out. Everything mm -hmm. is organized. Everything is in the way I want it to. And I feel good about myself. Yes. Now, self-care is not only for women. Men also need to take care of themselves to perform better and to be better versions of themselves. This goes to show it is important for everyone, regardless of gender. These self-care tips for men should be on every man's list. Mm -hmm. And we have some tips that we'll be sharing with you this morning. But what do you think about that, um... That comment there. Mm -hmm. Well, I, 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 I agree. Um, you know, I believe that males, as males, we, we need to do better with ourselves. Um, you know, we, we just, we, we always leave, like, I've, I've heard a couple of males who say, oh, I don't, have, I don't have to look good. I don't have to look good. Don't have to, the woman, don't have to, the female. The female don't have to look good and have to dress good. But that's a no-no. I believe that as males that we must take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. That when we go out, we, especially if you're married, you represent your wife when you go out. 
you present your family if you win the road. That means if you win somewhere, and that's why for me, when I go to, when I go to church, I always make sure that I, that, I, that I look nice. I always try to make sure that I, um, not just because people will see you, but the fact that you're going to church, the fact that, hey, I need to make sure that I, 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 I dress well and I, I represent well. So um, as males, I believe that we need to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves. We need to make sure that we are um, putting that extra work we know our parents of and Of course, of course. And you have to always remember as well that being a teacher, you have 16 little eyes. Well, yes. 32. Mm -hmm. 32 little eyes that are there watching you, mm -hmm. right? They're there watching you and you're there as a role model for them, right? Mm -hmm. And so you have, to always you have to always make sure that you are on top of things yes. when it comes to taking care of yourself. Not only physically, but mentally. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. is self-care though? What is self-care? Mm -hmm. It says here, self-care involves a set of regimen or rituals that aim to help a person recharge and achieve balance in his happiness and well-being. It takes more than pampering oneself mm -hmm. in a salon or working out at a gym. It should also include taking care of your mind, and, yep. ensuring inner peace. And I think that's one is, that one is, is very key. And, and, and I love that fact because taking care, while you can take care of the outside appearance, the self-care mentally is not, is, not, is not there. That means, for example, taking care of your, what you, the, 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 your, your environment. That means, one, hanging out with the wrong crowd. So while you're taking care of the, the outside, hanging out with the wrong crowd will not allow you to take care of the, the, the mental aspect. So that means you're messed up here because you, want, you, you will feel as though I can use bad word. I can, I can you know, the way you carry yourself. So um, it is very important, as what you mentioned, that we not only take care of the outside, but also the mental aspect as well. And that's where it starts. I think it starts spiritually because mm -hmm. um, John 10.10 10 reminds us that um, he has come to give us life and mm -hmm. have life more ab abundantly. Mm -hmm. You know, we have other scriptures that where Christ reminds us that you are the apple of my eye. Mm -hmm. I, you, I value you. You know, you are, you are precious. Mm -hmm. You know, these are scripture verses that helps us to understand our worth and understand our value. Mm -hmm. When you understand your worth and your value, you will make a special yes. effort because God has already confirmed your value. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need anybody else to confirm who you are. Mm -hmm. And because you know your value, you know your worth, you will invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. You will take care of your health. You'll eat the right things. You'll make sure that you um, take care of your physical appearance because remember, your body is the temple of the Lord, mm -hmm. right? So God has already confirmed that you have value, you have worth. And so that confirmation will just emulate from you. Mm -hmm. You know, in the way that you take care of yourself. And even the, you know, um, like what I had mentioned, you know, uh, just having positive people around. Change helps you to change the way you view life, helps you to change the way you view things. You know, having positive people around will, will, will allow you to be able to see the glass half full and half empty. Mm -hmm. will, look, will allow you to look at life from a positive standpoint and just the negatives, right? And so having the right environment, having the right people around, will allow you to, to tap into that right aspect in terms of the mental self-care, yes. you know, the way you view things on a whole. Everyone needs to take time on focusing on themselves. Self-care doesn't mean to be an elaborate, doesn't have to be an elaborate routine that would mean spending thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. It can be as simple as taking a few minutes each day to realign yourself and get on and get on with your day with a fresh slate. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to this whole macho mentality, this whole machismo, as they mm -hmm. say, men should be a, should emulate a macho kind of way. Uh, do you think that this is a thing that um, that maybe blocks men from? real self-care because people say as self people will look at you when you talk about self-care something mm -hmm. soft mm -hmm. only only soft men you know do a facial mm -hmm. only soft men will do 
what a manicure mm -hmm. or a pedicure, you know? Um, you know, do you think that that sometimes hamper our men in really taking care of themselves? I think a lot of our men are trying to fit into a, uh, they're trying to fit into a mold that's not them. Mm -hmm. And I still have to see this. This lot of beard that our men are wearing. This uh, beard that is hanging down. A lot of our men, it, 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 to me, is something new because it wasn't a couple of years ago, men used to have that smooth cut and that nice, fresh look. Now we see a lot of our men are just putting, allowing their beard to grow out and having all this beard. I'm no. saying it's, you know, as long as it's groomed well. Yeah, but I'm saying that, that some of the men that are wearing those a couple of years ago, if you would have them, they, would, they won't have never, but because they saw somebody it's doing trend. it, it's a trend. I have to fit in that mold. Mm. So they are influenced by what they see. But that does not mean that because somebody is doing that, that means that that's a, that's a nice macho look. That's a, no, you have to do what is best for you. You have to groom yourself. You have to make sure that, hey, I, 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 I don't have to look like that, but I am taking care of myself. I, I, the macho look for men, um, to you, it might seem as macho, but to others out there, it might not be as, as macho. It might be as not properly dressed. Like, for example, men feel as though... Um, they're not supposed to wear, um, I don't wear skinny, skinny fit stuff. I don't wear skinny fit stuff. But stuff that are slim, that fits your body well. Men feel as though, no, I'm not going to wear that. They feel as though I'm supposed to wear a big shirt and big pants. And, you know, and that's what they call the macho look and the manly look. But who said that, that that's the macho and manly look? Right? So I believe that men um, need to groom themselves in such a way that it could be um, properly attired, properly dressed. You know that 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 your wife would be pleased of, you know. Oh God, um, I think you said a mouthful there, and it's very important for us to understand, men and women, that we mm -hmm. must do things that, you know, is that fits you. Yes. Do things that suits you. Mm -hmm. Don't try to be anybody else. You know, be yourself. You know, do things that you enjoy. Yes. Don't try to mimic what you see other people doing. Or even the lifestyle, because mm -hmm. sometimes it's a lifestyle you cannot afford. Or it's a lifestyle that you don't know how that other person got what they got. Mm -hmm. So try not to be somebody else. You know, you want to illum illuminate anybody, you know, mimic Jesus. Mm -hmm. I think that would be the best, yep. <laughs> best person to mimic. But Christ wants for us to be ourselves all mm -hmm. the time. You know, and even when it comes to self-care, you do what you can afford. Mm -hmm. Do what you can afford. Like for me, I YouTube and I learn all that I need to do to care for myself, so I don't need to be spending a whole lot. It says men should take time to practice self-care. Like women, mm -hmm. men also need to take care of their physical, mental, and emotional health to be at their best. Now I want to linger a little bit at emotional health. Mm -hmm. Because men not to cry. People say men not to cry. And men are supposed to worry. Men mm -hmm. are supposed to be anxious. You know, they are, they are the head of the home and they're the leader in everything. So they have basically that rock stone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your take on that? We are human. Men and emotions. Um, we are human. Any, any, any individual, especially men, that, that, that have that mentality of saying, um, we're not supposed to, 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 to be in touch with that, that soft side of us, that... that you know, um, that, that easier, lighter side. Something is wrong with them. We are human, and as human, we cry. As human, we are sub, um, subjective to, to what's happening around us. That means we are going to go through anxiety. We are going to face um, uh, worries. We are going to face everything that a human being is supposed to encounter. And so crying is one of them. Um, someone dies, you cry. If, if you're having a bad day and you feel that like it's too much for you, you might not ball, but you might have some little eye water drop. But that does not mean it, it, it doesn't mean that you're less of a man. It simply means that you are human beings and you are human being and you're in touch with that that um that emotional section of you. And it's it's, it's, it's Jesus cry. Yeah. So who are we not to cry? Who are we not who are we to say like one time I was on the bus and a couple of years ago and the little boy was crying and the father beat the boy and keep telling him that you are, you're a boy, you got to be tough, and you got to, you know, and 
that's, those are some things that is affecting our, our society because we are telling our kids that you have to be tough. You're not supposed to be, you know, like trying to avoid them not to be in tune with their, with that emotional side, which means that something is wrong with them. But as men, I believe that we, we, we must be in touch with that emotional side so that we can connect with people. That emotional aspect of us helps to con us, help us to connect with people when we see something that is happening we could be able to connect with them and we could be able to, to, to show sympathy with that individual. And if we don't do that, then something is wrong with us. And I think that's one of the things Christ used, one of the ways, you know, he had, that's why his ministry was so su mm -hmm. successful because, you know, he tapped into the emotional side, yes. you know, and other men were able to see, other mm -hmm. women were able to see, the children were able to mm -hmm. see that he's genuine. You know, when you're too tough and macho, you, you, you don't appear to be genuine. No. You know, and so people can read right through, right through you. Now, when it comes to mentally now, mm -hmm. when it comes to mentally, what can you add to, to that? Men need to take care of their mental health. You think it's a common thing for men to take care of their mental health? Um, just recently, I saw an, uh, an NBA player who decided to take some time off from the team because he, was, he wanted to focus on his mental health. Um, you know, um, and so he decided to take off some time from a team. As men, we are uh, not useful if we're not capable of dealing with situation. That means if you are not mentally um, stable, you cannot handle situation that will come your way. Whether it's with your family, whether it's with your job, whatever it may be. And so I believe that you must take care of that mental aspect that you could face challenging times, that you could face challenges. Um, some people not having that mental aspect, sometimes you see why, especially in America, where you see people, some of these people are killing, doing mass shooting, because they're not taking time to deal with that, that mental aspect of, of, that, they're, that, they're, that, that they find challenging. And so as human beings, if we don't take time to deal with our mental aspect, what it does is allows us to have a breakdown. Right? And then we do and we say things and we, people are saying, Man, I, I didn't know that he was like that. It's because that person has been going and going and going and don't take time to, to, to deal with the mental aspect yeah. of what's happening with them. Very true. Very true. Um, uh, and it, sometimes it's overwhelming because being the head of the home, mm -hmm. sometimes you're the leader at your job. Mm -hmm. That's a lot to take on. Yes. If you, and if you, are, if you don't watch it, you will go off the rails real mm -hmm. quick. That's where you find yourself lashing out on people, you know, doing and saying all kind of things that you're, it's not your norm to be doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy that you brought up that example of the basketball player because you might be saying, what, a basketball player? Lose mm -hmm. money, lose time. But he was able to say, wait, I need to take yes. a step back, mm -hmm. take a step back, evaluate the situation, evaluate himself, and he yes. was able to pinpoint Hey, I need a mental break. And the team, the, 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 team, the, the, the guy, is, um, NBA player is Andre Drummond. That's the NBA player name. Okay. And the team was willing to give, the team gave him that option with pay because they, they knew that if we cannot have you mentally stable with the team, then we are going to have a breakdown. So it is good as men to, to, to do that. Or if we want to be there for a family, if we want to be there for others, or, you know, we need to make sure that mentally we are, we are stable. A break, yeah. Yes. And that's a perfect segue for our break this morning. We want to let you know that we are live here from the studio. It's not a pre-recording. We are live here from the studio. And we want you to engage in the conversation. We're here talking on the topic of um, self-care tips for men. And so far we've talked a lot. We've covered a lot in terms of, um, you know, what men can do to help them to be mm -hmm. better. You know, to help them to... Um, what's the word to help them to to be productive yes. in the society um, and as we're about to take a break we want you to ponder upon those things we've shared thus far and we, we want to invite you to join us back here again um, right after the break remember share the link we'll be right back
understand our youth and the challenges they face? Are we truly listening to what they're saying or even care about how they feel? Youth Come Alive is a new and innovative program where we discuss issues that matter, such as spirituality, sexuality, relationships, addictions, careers, and so much more. Join us on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. on all our streaming platforms. Youth, youth Come, come alive, alive, a, a program, program for youth. youth. Are you on a health journey for the new year? Have you been looking for nutritious and delicious health food substitutes and cannot find it anywhere in town? Well, we've got good news for you. Raquel Imports proudly presents a new soya pack line of products which includes soy-based milk options and meat substitutes, 100% caffeine-free corn coffee. What? Yes, you heard that right. 100% caffeine-free corn coffee and much more. This can get better than this. These products are now available for immediate purchase at Rakhil's Imports, located at 3A Street, Kings Park, Billy City, and coming soon to a store near you. Direct message our Facebook page or call us at 611-0601 for more details. Soya Pack, a healthier option for you. want to thank you so much for staying, us, staying with us thus far through our program this morning. We've been having a wonderful discussion on self-care tips for men. And this morning we're joined by teacher and student, Mr. Shane Neal. And we've been looking at, you know, some things that we think are myths in terms of, uh, for men, mm -hmm. in care, taking care of themselves. And we're learning this morning that, you know, I mean, men need to take care of themselves as well. Yes. You know, we talk a lot, of, a lot about self-care for women, but what do the men do in order to keep them, you know, 100% functionable, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we want to look at some tips. We have five that we'll be sharing this morning, with you this morning. And so I want to share this point before we get into the first one. There is no one size fit all when it comes to self-care. Each person has his unique way of taking care of oneself holistically. Mm -hmm. But if you are not sure where to get started, here are some self-care tips for men that can help a lot in their well-being. The first one we want to mention this morning is... Exercise regularly. Exercise regularly. I'm, I'm mashing a little corn here today. <laughs> Tell us about exercising regularly, Mr. Oh, Shane. man. I... I that is very important. Um, you know, I, I used to exercise four times a day, two hours. Um, and I find that, you know, exercise, it allows you to reduce stress. It allows you to deal with situations because you're, you're you know, the body, when you exercise, the body re releases certain, certain things, goes on in the body. And so you are, you are ready, not only that, but it allows you to, to, to feel good because you, you, you lose weight and you, you know, it builds your confidence. And so exercise is very, very important. Um, it allows you to improve your appearance, not only that, but it allows you to be able to feel uh, mentally charged as well. Okay. So it's important. Being that you said that, I feel like women are more committed when it comes to exercise. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's because of the workload that men have, but for women, for men, sorry, there's not much commitment there. Yes. But we want to let you know, men, whatever you are good at in terms of physical, um, whatever sport you're good at, 
then start. Start to exercise. You may not have a regular exercise regimen, but you're good at playing basketball, mm -hmm. you're good, good at cricket, you're good at vo playing volleyball, mm -hmm. football. All these little, um, little sports activities are things you can be doing weekly or daily to get you active. It also boosts your self-esteem as well. Mm -hmm. Allows you to feel confident when, you're, when, you, when you have a certain body weight. You know, I'm not talking about a thin person, but a person that just have this nice body weight. Um, moving around, there's a confidence that you have in moving around. And um, then compared to a person who is really thin and a person who has extra weight, you know, a person who is just the right size will just be able to move around and just yeah. have this confidence. In where to deliver themselves. So. It says exercise is a great way to reduce stress, improve mm -hmm. your mood, and boost overall health. Find an, an activity you enjoy, whether it's running, weightlifting, mm -hmm. or playing a sport, and make it a regular part of your routine. Mm -hmm. Walking is also a great way to exercise. Physical activity not only makes your body healthy and fit, but also improves your self esteem, like we mentioned. Mm -hmm promotes better sleep, and decreased feelings of anxiety mm -hmm. and depression. Exercise produces endorphins that makes you feel good. Yes. You don't have an exercise routine, you are missing out. Mm -hmm. And we, you don't have to be going to a gym. So you don't need to, if you don't have money to go to a gym, you don't need to go to a gym. Um, what I started, I used, to, I used to find weights around the house. For females, you use can. For male, you find something you can take um, food, put it in a plastic bag, and use it as your mm -hmm. as your as your dumbbell. You know, so um, if you don't have time to go to the gym, you don't have to go to the gym. You can use things that are around the house that has a little weight yeah. to help you know start off with. But the key thing is exercise is very very important for 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 us as male mm -hmm. um, to you know just to have this nice appearance and look good. Yep. All right, so the next tip we want to share with you is practice good sleep. How well are you sleeping? Not How good. well are you sleeping, Mr. Neil? Not good. Being a teacher and a student, you think, what, 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 where would you scale yourself in terms of sleep? Really bad. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Because I say really bad because Monday, Monday through Thursday, my sleep time is like 12 o'clock. Hmm. And that is because... Um, reaching home by the time we don't um, prep for you know uh, supper and you're about you're finished eating it's, um, it's like basically 8 o'clock 8 30 and then I have from 8 30 up until 12 to do um, write my notes down to actually get you know um, to be able to study for a quiz or you know um, or maybe do an assignment or something which will lead me to about 12 o'clock and that's when I say that's it, that's it. Hmm. you know and so my sleep cycle and it's not there are times i would really want to go to bed really early but because i know me i cannot leave things for say i i, I cannot leave the thing and say hey i'm okay. going to go to sleep now and then i'm get up in the morning and do it that's not me i'm a night person so i can go i can go all the way till morning and so that's when i do my 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 um, assignments for school or whatever and um, 12, I say that's it, and I would go to sleep. And I want to say that this is, these are the things sometimes that allow our bodies to go into breakdown mode. Because we don't take care of ourselves, we run the body mm -hmm. ragged, and then we, our bodies go into a breakdown mode. I know at times you go, in, you have some migraines. Yes. And you don't eat for a day because the body's like, I can't take it anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, so we cannot find ourselves running our bodies so ragged that it, it goes into a crash. You know, not everybody is lucky enough. Uh, I don't want to use the word luck. Not everyone is blessed enough that their body could box back. Yes. You know, um, a lot of people, when they, the body goes through that crash mode, it's a stroke coming afterwards. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to be able, you don't want to run your body to the point of a stroke. Mm -hmm. All right? So we got to make sure you are balancing what you're doing. I know sometimes you have deadlines to reach yes. to, but you have to balance, balance, balance. Practice good sleep. Getting enough sleep is essential for your physical and mental well-being. Try to stick to a consistent sleep schedule. 
Avoid electronic devices before bedtime. You lay in your bed with your phone in your hand on Facebook, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling till you fall asleep. It says, create a comfortable sleep environment. Don't delay, don't delay sleep, especially if you feel, if you feel you already want to lie down straight, or sorry, if you feel you want to lie down straight to bed. For adults, it's best to get about seven to eight hours of sleep. Never take sleep for granted. Mm. Establish a bedtime routine to recharge. Stay refreshed and improve weight and energy level. Have a skincare routine to go with a nice, with a good night's sleep. And I, I've heard one person said um, that not having a good sleep routine allows you to gain weight. Okay. I've heard that as well. I've heard it and um, it allows, something goes on in the body and it allows your body to actually gain weight. Not only that, but the longer you're up, the more you want to eat. Mm -hmm. And so you begin to bench eat, you know, and it's already 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And you're, you know, you're still, you're still trying to get some food in. So um, eating, um, sleeping is very, very important. But for me, I find it challenging, especially once the semester is on. After the semester, that's when I basically, um, I just go down into a slower mode. And um, I don't need, my, my, that's when my laptop actually goes to sleep. You know, um, even so. Even the poor laptop even is laptop. Up for rest. <laughs> so, um, once the semester is finishing up, like it's almost done, two, three weeks, more weeks, and that semester is finished, that's when I find myself more rested and um, everything just goes to sleep for me. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, very good. All right, uh, the last part there, I want to linger a little bit. It says, have a skincare routine to go with a nice sleep. Men and skincare routine. Mm -hmm. Do men really have a skincare routine? We should. Okay, what's a skincare um, routine? What does a skincare routine look like for men? Well, one, your face. One, um, I believe, taking care of your face, taking care of your skin, allowing your skin to have that nice um, look, you know, um, it's not only for the female man. It's not only for the female to look really nice, but convince them, man. Convince we must convince be able to. <laughs> nobody wants to see a, 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 an individual that doesn't have that nice shiny look skin, that nice, you know, that, that just that nice all around skin look. And so I believe as men, we feel as though, hey, I don't man, I have, I have, I have to look rugged. That's that's a lie. But as men, we must be able to take care of ourselves just like the female, and making sure that we have. Um, our skin looks presentable as well. Take a nice bath. Yes. Take a nice bath. Like mechanics. Lotion, your lotion up, Vaseline, whatever you use. Lotion up yourself. So when you go to bed, you know, you, you smell good, you mm -hmm. look good. You know, the wife is pleased. If you use a facial scrub, you use a facial scrub. And these things are not just for, for, for women. Mm -hmm. They sell in this, at the store, you have products there for men and products for women. Mm -hmm. Use a facial scrub. Um, what else? What's a skincare routine? Making sure your fingernails are clean. Okay. Like, I, 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 I always say, if I was a mechanic, I would have been one of the most cleanest mechanics. Okay. Because I'll be working with, on vehicles with gloves. <laughs> because I can't stand to see men or mechanics with dirty nails. It looks really bad. But it's a part of the and job. Dirty, I mean, it's a part of the job. <laughs> But, I mean, not because, and that's the thing, not because you are in this category that means I'm going to look like that category. For example, not because I'm a man, I will look like how men supposed to look. This rugged, this, this just this, this un, un um, what, what's unkept. the word? Unkept, ungroomed, right? As men, we must look groomed as a female. You know? Because if you notice, if you notice, um, there's never a time where Jesus will walk around looking all dragged up and, and shabby. Even though he walked in the wilderness. Even though he walked in the wilderness and, 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 and everything. But Jesus, um, the only time he looked shabby was when they had crucified him and ripped off his clothes. But other than that, he was always nice to dress. Right? And so as men, I believe that we must take care of ourselves. We cannot put it on the woman and allow us the woman to, over, over, to, to overshine us in terms of nice and nicely dressed. So, men... Let's groom ourselves. Let's do what we need to do. Um, nice skin. Uh, I believe they say that coconut oil 
you can lotion coconut and oil. yes you can lotion <laughs> coconut oil vaseline man if you don't have vaseline leave the coconut oil on the thing and rub your hand it allows it goes into your skin it allows your skin to look nice and that nice smell so as men i believe we need to groom ourselves we need yes. to look good groom yourself it's true eat a balanced diet mm -hmm. all right i'll elaborate on this a little bit eat a balanced balanced diet mm -hmm. and again while you're putting your thoughts together we want our viewers to know that we are live here from the studios this morning this is a live program so you can engage with us put your comments in the comment section um we'd like to be able to share a few of them with our viewers this morning with our other viewers and so we invite you to do so share with us some tips that you use or your husband use or another maybe uh, your brother use um since this program is geared on self-care tips for men maybe something is something that you use that you think the men will be helpful for our men put it in the comments so we can mm -hmm. share share with others Go before ahead. before I go to that part, um, eat a balanced diet. Um, we need to make sure we 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 have nice we cut the hair as well. For those men who have dreads or for those men who have long hair, nothing is wrong to just put your dreads or your hair in a style that looks presentable. Or just upkeep. Or just upkeep. Dreads, dreads require maintenance. Yes, it's you not. Know, it's, it's not just trimming off like your like how you have yours now. You have mm -hmm. to. It requires extra maintenance, yes. retwisting, retwisting, retwisting. And it's not only wrapping the dread with a cloth and then, hey, hit the streets. It is about putting in a nice way that if you, even if you wrap it and remove the cloth, you look presentable. So it's everything. It's holistic. Yes. And I, I know you said that about eating, eating a balanced diet. Um, you know, eating a balanced diet means I'm going to eat maybe some carbs along with some vegetables, along with some fruits, mm -hmm. along with... So eating a balanced diet... Um, allows us to, to feel healthy and to be healthy as well, mm -hmm. right? It's also us men taking care of ourselves by eating what is right, that we can perform um, as well at our job or, or whatever, we can perform in such a way. So eating what is right will help us to be able to, 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 to perform in such a way that will be good to the, to the, to the boss or to whoever. And all that, when you eat, when you eat properly, when you eat a balanced diet, and you feel good, you look good. Yes. You know, so let's not take eating healthy for granted. Mm -hmm. Eating a healthy, balanced diet can help you maintain a healthy weight, mm -hmm. improves your energy level, mm -hmm. and reduce your risk of chronic diseases. Make sure to include plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, mm -hmm. and lean protein in your meat. Avoid unhealthy and processed food as much as possible yes so even men have to take the time and be very much careful of what they put in their mouth mm -hmm. you know because what we put in you know is what we will get out yes so we have to make sure that we are um we're eating properly mm -hmm. you know because we, when you feel good like i said before you will look good and and eating i believe that eating go along with habits for men, smoking mess up your teeth. You don't have good teeth. Um, I've, I've seen some men, uh, men, the first thing that they would do in the morning is to, there are some of them, for those who smoke marijuana, they would roll up a marijuana, they would smoke it. Those things mess up your breath. You know, so it's also apart from eating, it's apart from what we put in our, in our bodies and what we, 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 you know, drinking early morning alcohol and do these different things. They are not good for us. So um, it's a balanced diet, yes, but it's also what we put into our mouth and into our bodies that will affect that, um, that self-care, yeah. right? So. All right, we touched this one um, a little bit, mm -hmm. but I'm sure there's much more we could say about this one. You want to share this next one? All right, step? this next one is taking care of your skin. Skin care, it says, skin care is important for everyone, and it's not just about looking good. It says, protect your skin from the sun. Moisturize regularly and use a gentle cleanser to keep your skin looking and feeling healthy. Tons of skincare products for men are available in the market these days. So, so grab some for your, for your use and benefit from these amazing products. Anywhere you go, I, I have a, I wish I could have bring it. I have a, a face thing that I use. It's black, it looks charcoal. It's charcoal, yeah, it's charcoal, right? Um, that I put on my face 
Because I, I want to look good as well. I don't want to be going out without <laughs> having my, you know, with blemishes on my face and, and having a black spot from a pimple that was there. You know, as men, we have to look good as well. So I believe that taking care of your face, taking care of your skin on a whole is important. We can eat things that can help us. Like avo I know avocado is one of them that will help us to be able to have um, nice, clean skin as well. Yeah, it's, there's nothing worse than having a pimple on your face that you've been picking at, mm -hmm. picking at, and it turns out, you know, your confidence yes. level goes <laughs> down a whole lot when you have something there mm -hmm. on your face. You know, your face is the first thing people see when, when you approach them, you know, and, you know, having that on your face there, you, you need to take care of that ASAP mm -hmm. um, in order for you not to lose confidence in yourself, no? So taking care of your skin is vital. Taking care of your teeth is vital. You know, you may not be able to put in our braces and all of that, but getting your teeth clean is also vital. Mm -hmm. You know, if that's something you should be doing every six months, if possible. If, if you can't afford every six months and every, every year, get your teeth clean. And if you don't have the finance to do so, baking soda is perfect. Okay. So you use baking for men um, to upkeep your, the, your teeth in terms of your teeth and your, 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 your breath smelling good. Uh, once you're brushing your teeth, it's a health tip, so yeah. free. Once you're brushing your teeth, you can dip the toothpaste in the toothbrush, the, the toothbrush into the baking soda. I'm not talking about the mixed one, the re and you can brush your teeth with that. It yes. will brighten your teeth. Mm -hmm. It will give you a better smile and floss. Flossing yeah. is important. So it's holistic. Men, we cannot let the woman um, <laughs> just look good, but we have to take care of ourselves. So um, flossing before you brush is very important. Mm -hmm. So... Um, it's holistic, as what I said, apart from just your skin, but everything that we do as men, we have to make sure that we, are, we look groomed and we look presentable yes. while leaving our house. Yeah, very much. And you know what? These things, um, you don't learn overnight. Over years, you learn, okay, this is what I need to be doing yes. here. Sometimes you, you pass through your, if you, don't, if you don't have a mom who knew before, and it might not be things that you've learned uh, from home, but like programs like these, yes. through programs like these, you can learn... Um, Learn how to care for yourself. Again, these tips are not just for women, but for men as well. Mm -hmm. And you or men need to be need to make sure that they are following these tips, yes. jotting them down to try to improve. Try to improve, and the more you improve, the more your confidence mm -hmm. builds. The more when you walk out into the world, you know people will be greeting you. You know, all of that builds your confidence. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about self. Because remember, um, it's not about proud or being pride or anything. But, um, you know, even Christ, Christ mm -hmm. wants for us to, to be abundant, you know, and yes. in everything. So let us not allow ourselves to, oh, because you're a Christian, be lonely and drag um, down. Yes. And, you know, how your, your shoes tear up. And I, I, don't, I don't know what is that. But you I, know, invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. you don't have to break the bank. Invest in yourself, <laughs> invest in your health, even if you have to go to a trip store, to get your knee shirt, get your knee pants. These are all things that will motivate you, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and build your confidence. I don't know what it's about. Um, I go step in a room with a hundred men. And when I step in that room, I ain't okay who have on name brand. But when I step in that room, I am the best dressed to myself. And why I say that is that because before I leave my house, I always try to make sure that I take care of myself. And um, so, it, as what you said, knowing yourself, knowing, knowing the preparation that, that you put into how you look, it builds your confidence. Mm -hmm. And so when I step anywhere, wherever I go anywhere, I always have a high level of confidence. I'm not proud or anything, but my confidence is up because I know that I've been putting in the work and I've been investing, investing in myself. Yourself. All right. All right. And as we're winding down the program for this morning, we have another tip that we want, for, want to share. And this one says, connect with others. Mm -hmm. As men, we don't connect as much um, as we, sh as men. I'm saying as men, like I'm a man. But do you think men connect with others as much as they should? Other men? They, they do. Um, some, I must say, I won't generalize. But there are some. But the, when they do connect, it's for social gathering like for example for drinking for but in terms of um and when it do that do happen they are they're not dressed properly 
they're not groomed properly. Some of them have on slippers, some of them have on, that's a new trend in Belize. I've never seen that before, people wearing socks and slippers. That's, to me, I find that as, I don't know what's the word. That's a new trend, that's but a new trend. you're dressed right up and you have on socks and slippers on the foot. But whenever these men would gather, it's because they would gather just to socialize, to drink. It's not like they're gathering to go to a movie and night dress them, dress nicely. But I do believe that as men, we need to socialize. It will allows, allow us to be able to, to build our confidence as well. And men encourage other men. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. you, you, maybe you don't know, not everybody know everything. I know mm -hmm. you are learning along the yes. way because, you know, we spend a lot of time trying to find figure out you mm -hmm. know what what you need to do mm -hmm. but other men may not know yes and so when you're in the midst of other men you share you converse beyond talking basketball you could be talking mm -hmm. about other things as well mm -hmm. um but instead of competing men competing with against men um in terms of um, who have the biggest car or have the biggest who work where mm -hmm. and all those things that men compete with you know you are there to build up each other. Yes. Just like women. Women, instead of competing with each other, women are there to build up other women. Mm -hmm. That is so, so true. Social connections are important for your mental and well-being. For your mental health and well-being. Make time to connect with friends and family. Mm -hmm. Join a club or group or a volunteer in your community. We are social beings that need some company from time to time. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you can also try engaging in activities that bring you joy. If you like yes. cricket, cricket is your thing. And help you to relax. Whether it's reading, mm -hmm. playing music, taking a rela relaxing bath. Either way, schedule some time to do things that make you happy and fulfilled so you yes. don't have, you don't have to always be with your family no you know you could find a group of men maybe from your church from your work that are positive you know you, mm -hmm. you, you meet together to do positive things to talk on positive topics men that you that when you leave from there it's so positive that you feel encouraged or feel boost mm -hmm. you know um a lot of times men meet but it's for the negative yes you know but that's just generally but um, the important thing is for you to be able to socialize. Mm -hmm. Socialize. Socializing helps you to get your mind off of things that make you anxious. Mm -hmm. You know, things that, that make you worry. You know, when you're socializing, you are there. You are in the presence of other people that you know um, care for you. Mm -hmm. You won't be socializing with your enemies. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, Jesus did, no? But <laughs> you, will, you want to socialize with people that will motivate you. Mm -hmm. All right, and so it says here, um, join a group. Join a group. Maybe there's a men's group at your church. Maybe it's a sports group. Doing, maybe playing a sport that you like. Join a group. Do something to get you sociable. I feel like for me, um, I am too consumed by work and everything that, like, that, that, this aspect of it is very, I would say, challenging for me because I'm too occupied. But it's necessary. But it's necessary. It's necessary. I, I feel as because though... Because we're social beings. Yes. We're made to socialize. Mm -hmm. So when you are pulling yourself away, sometimes it's, it's hard for you not to because you're so mm -hmm. consuming work. But it's a vital part of your, of your mental health. Yes. To be mm -hmm. able to socialize with others. Yes, and get feedbacks from others and, you know, and encourage each other as well. So it's, it's important. It is. Mm -hmm. As we're wrapping up the program for today, I want to close off with these thoughts. It says, now you've already know what is self-care. Remember, self-care is not selfish or indulgent. Again, I'm going to read that. Self-care is not selfish or indulgent. Don't think it hard to go out and purchase something for yourself. Don't think it hard to go out and do something you've always wanted to do in terms of something physically maybe mm -hmm. you want you have always wanted to get your teeth clean and you've never done it mm -hmm. go out and do it because it's something that will build your your self-worth something mm -hmm. that will build your your your, your confidence mm -hmm. it is essentially for your overall health and well-being incorporating these tips that we shared this morning um tips for men into your daily routine 
will help in taking care of yourself and living a happier, healthier life. And when you're happy yeah. and you're healthy, you can you're there. You, you have a you have a better better way of leading your mm -hmm. home. And you have a positive output on life. Yes. You know, you see life differently than, than a person who, um, who is not um, healthier, who is not happy, because they always see the negative. Mm -hmm. So by you taking time out to, to focus on yourself, and, and not only the physical aspect, but also the mental aspect and the social aspect and the holistic aspect, um, it allows you to see people. It has allowed you to see things and, and everything that encompasses that. Um, differently from a positive standpoint than just a negative aspect. So true. Remember that we're a role model. There are people looking at us, young people, older folks looking at us. And so mm -hmm. we must always remember that people mimic what they see us doing. And if mm -hmm. we're, you know, illuminating the correct things, people will mimic that. Yes. You know, and beyond, it's beyond dressing and looking good. We want to illuminate Jesus, mm -hmm. you know, and his love for us will eliminate his value that he has on us in the way we care for yes. ourselves. So as we wrap up the show for this morning, Mr. Shane, we want to thank you so much for joining us. I was nervous on this topic, what we're going to talk about. But um, it's one that we've promised and we've delivered today. We pray that something we've shared might have been a blessing. And it's something that you could share with others. Mm -hmm. Wives, if you have a husband, they love your husband. You know, um, Encourage him to, to, you know, maybe he's not one that will invest a lot of time in himself. But you are there as a wife to be as a guide and to, to encourage your husband to invest some time in, in, in himself. Um, taking care of himself. Things that you can purchase yourself to help him to learn what to use in terms of his skin care. You know, but, you, know you buy a little things as you yes. get, make your salary. You buy a little um, supplies that you need. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a little clipper to take all those nose hair, get it out, get it out. A clipper to get his hair trimmed. You know, these are little ways that wives could help their husbands as mm -hmm. well. And husbands likewise. If you have a wife that, you know, you see might need a little um, manicure there, a little pedicure, buy her manicure pedicure set. But either that or you'll have to pay the, the, the beautician. Or <laughs> <laughs> the, I'm not sure what you call those professionals. To um, get her nails and hair done. So it's best you invest in the equipment that mm -hmm. they need so that they can learn to do it by themselves, yes. right? So with that, we want to thank you so much for joining us again. We say goodbye and God bless. Jesus said, And this gospel shall be preached to all the world, and then the end shall come. Here at ATN, we consider it a wonderful privilege to provide you, our viewers, with wholesome programs to enrich and bless your souls. However, all of this is only possible because of your generous donations. We pause at this moment to ask you for your financial support to continue this great work entrusted to us by God. If you would like to become one of our monthly donors, please call us at 613-9351 or email us at etnfin at cbm.leesunion.org. We sincerely thank you for your commitment and may the Lord richly bless and keep you.